I'm Avery Haynes at police headquarters. A surprising twist in our city news investigation into convict cops. The officer seen in this dash cam video punching a handcuffed suspect reached out to me to share what happened in the moments and years before this assault. The constable was one of just five police officers to be fired across the GTHA in the last four years for their criminal convictions. 59 officers had scheduled tribunal hearings between 2013 and 2017. They had been convicted of everything from child porn, sex assault and domestic violence to fraud and impaired driving. Gary Gould, one of the fired officers, tells me he wanted to be a cop since he was a kid. In fact, he first joined the force when he was just 20 years old. And he says that there's so much more you need to know about what led up to that night. I know the way that video looks. I mean, it looks horrible. Of course I look like a monster. His name is Gary Gould, fired from the force for assaulting a drunk and handcuffed suspect in his cruiser. I was dealing with a, an intoxicated male who just urinated all over a gas station and assaulted a gas station attendant tried to kick the window out of my car. I, I confronted him, he spat in my face and I, I hit him. Gary says he snapped as a result of years of untreated on the job stress that he says his supervisors did nothing to help him resolve. The chief said it himself, police encounter so much and as a result of what they encounter could result in unlawful behavior. And I mean, if that's something that's recognized by our own chief, why is it that our command do nothing? Before this, Gary says he'd had numerous crises, including this. I cut my um, central vac system up and I hooked it up to my the exhaust on my car. And then uh, I sent a suicide note to my, my family and I guess one of my family members called 911 and they came here. And did anyone at work find out about Oh yeah. So your supervisors know that you that you came very close to ending your life. Yes. And nobody said, wait a second, this guy needs help, not only for himself, but also for the community that is walking around with a gun? No, in fact, that's when I developed a motivation for myself to put myself into a rehabilitation program. The Toronto Police actually delayed that. Gould appeared before the police tribunal six times in his 14-year career, mostly for minor infractions, but was once on a two-year paid suspension, accused of assaulting another police officer at a bar, but the tribunal ruled that he was in fact not the aggressor. This is the tribunal decision that ended Gary's career. She says that your disciplinary record shows anger, belligerent behavior, issues of self-control, that there's no room in law enforcement for anyone who would beat a handcuffed prisoner. There's no excuses for anybody's actions or mine. I'm not, I'm not mitigating any of the things that I've done, but these are, I, they're telltale signs that, it, they're cries out for help. I was in need of help for the majority of my career and I was isolated and terminated. The only reason I'm sitting here with you today is because I don't have anything to lose. I do know that there's other officers out there in the position that I was in that are essentially crying out for help and this is why I reached out to you to talk to you because I know that there's other people that are suffering right now and other people that are going to be suffering. Toronto Police say they will not speak specifically about Gary Gould's case, but in our City News investigation, they have told us that psychological services have been increased for police officers, and the psychologist who works here out of police headquarters says more officers are accessing those services. I'm Avery Haynes, City News.